Today we're going to talk about applying the Stove Ride high temperature paint. Specifically, how do you apply the three light coats to get the best finish? Before we begin, we're going to talk about safety and your comfort. For any of your projects with Stove Ride aerosol products, we want to think safety first. And the first safety item we always want you to have available and wearing is your safety glasses. So put those safety glasses on before you spray the paint. Surface preparation is important. One of the things we've discussed in the other videos is removing all the rust. Also talking about scuffing the surface. And when you do the wipe down, you want to use the Stove Bright Paint Prep product to wipe down that surface. We're going to use one of the 30 colors of Stove Bright High Temperature Paint to demonstrate for you the application process for three light coats. Before you paint, you want to make sure you have a clear flow of the product to the nozzle. What I've done is I've actually shook the can up real well and I've actually sprayed it out on a piece of cardboard before I'm ready to actually start this application. I want to be 12 to 15 inches away from the surface and I want to go ahead and get a light mist coat for my first coat. So I have a clean prepped piece of metal and now I'm going to spray my light mist coat. So this light mist coat, you can see it looks like dots on the surface. It doesn't look like I'm trying to cover the piece of metal with the paint. That light mist coat is going to lay down the foundation for a great finish with this product. Again, this is a light second coat. I want to be 12 to 15 inches away from the surface, even spray flow, and try to get nice coverage here now on this panel. After this second coat, I'm going to let this set for 15 to 20 minutes and then inspect it to see if the finish is acceptable. If the finish has any kind of high or low spots, any kind of show, I'm probably going to go ahead and spray a third light coat. I don't have to spray a third light coat if this product is laid evenly and I like the finish from the second coat. So now I'm going to spray that third light coat, remembering to be 12 to 15 inches away from the surface as I spray. And again, I'm only getting a light amount of paint on here. I've completed the spray process with my three light coats. I'm going to let this now cure for a couple of hours because I want to have a nice hard surface. You can wait as long as you like, but you do need to wait the minimum of two hours before doing any assembly or exposing the paint to any kind of heat. Typically, we recommend waiting four hours. That gives you a really nice window to be able to work with the product in terms of applying heat. You can wait as long as you'd like after you've painted to actually apply the heat and go through the curing process, which we'll discuss in another video. We've been talking about the Stobright User Guide. You can find it at stobright.com or forestpaint.com. It covers surface preparation, application, and other information you need to do the job right with Stobright on your pipe or your stove. Stobright wants you to have that perfect finish on your stove. So, we've given you these resources of videos and Stobrite user guide for you to get that nice finish. You can go to Stobrite.com, you can go to ForestPaint.com, and you can find other resources and other videos to help you understand how this product works and how you're going to get the best finish from Stobrite. 